thousands of women and girls across South Sudan have suffered rape and other abuse during the brutal civil war which erupted in 2013. Rape and other forms of sexual violence are uh, clearly a consistent, systematic uh, uh, feature of the conflict uh, that have been used as, as a tactic of war to, to displace uh, uh, population, to, uh, to, to, to disperse uh, uh, and, and, and instill fear within a, a particular ethnic, ethnic group. After meeting dozens of survivors during a week-long visit, the UN Special Representative on Sexual Violence and Conflict urged the leaders of the warring parties to take urgent steps to prevent violence against women and children and to hold perpetrators to account. I think uh, right now we are at a stage where it is cost-free to, to rape, where it is cost-free to rape a child of four years old, where it is cost-free to rape a woman, whatever her age, and, and sexual violence as a result has been fueled uh, and exacerbated by this uh, deep culture of, of, of impunity uh, and, and hence addressing impunity and reversing this culture of impunity is, is critical. The SRSG visited South Sudan as part of a high-powered United Nations and African Union solidarity mission to the conflict-ridden country. She credited the government with acknowledging the massive scale of sexual violence across the country. However, there was a lack of accountability and while women craved justice, they were too afraid to report crimes against them. We are dealing with a crime. Uh, which is very underreported for all the reasons that I have, I have out, outlined. Uh, stigma, uh, lack of access to justice, where do you go to, to report, and who do you report to when uh, you know, uh, soldiers in uniform have raped you, uh, and, and, and the stigma which, which all the women that I met today told me that they had not reported. The SRSG said there was an urgent need for legal assistance, the inclusion of a definition of rape and sexual violence in line with international standards and legislation, and a strengthening of the rule of law. Ending sexual violence in South Sudan was critical to building lasting peace, she said.